Hello and welcome to LFC Focus. So Liverpool have drawn one all with Burnley at Anfield today in a match that feels very much like Groundhog Day, to be honest. We've seen this game so many times before with Liverpool and the sad thing about it is I'm not entirely sure that we won't see it again. It feels like, you know, this is just yet another instalment in the endless saga of lower, lower table teams coming to Anfield, setting up defensively and somehow, against all the odds, managing to get the, get the result when they really, really shouldn't have. And I mean, the stats, they tell you all you need to know. Liverpool had 35 shots. Burnley had five. And I mean, whichever way you look at it, that simply isn't good enough. I mean, the expected goal stat, which is quite handy in telling you a bit more about, you know, what those stats mean and whether Liverpool's 35 shots should have resulted in a certain amount of goals or anything. Liverpool's expected goals was 2.1. Burnley's expected goals was 0.4. So first things first, Burnley simply shouldn't have scored in that match. And I will come on to the defensive performance from Liverpool later. But that is worrying in both senses in the 2.1 expected goals from 35 shots just shows that Liverpool simply weren't creating good enough chances in that game. And I mean, when you look at it, so many of our shots were getting blocked. They were from difficult places on the pitch. It never really looked a lot of the time like we deserved to score from the chances we created. And that's why it was such a frustrating game to watch because if your shots are constantly getting blocked before they can even reach the goalkeeper, before they've even got a chance of getting in the net, then you've got no chance of scoring enough goals to win a football match, especially when you've got Liverpool's defence. And I mean, on the flip side of it, it's also worrying that with 30, Five shots on goal, you've only scored one because whichever way you look at it, having 35 shots and only scoring one goal simply is not good enough. I mean, the shot map showed that every, pretty much every single chance Liverpool had was a pretty poor chance. We didn't create enough decent chances on goal, but still to only come away with one goal from that many chances created, it just it's almost impossible to understand how Liverpool have managed it. And it is simply a reflection of the same problem constantly cropping up. And that's what's so annoying because Liverpool had all summer to work on this. It's not a new problem. It's something that has happened over and over again in the past. And I think Jurgen Klopp does have to take a little bit of the blame for it, sadly. I don't like criticising the manager. I don't want us to end up like one of those clubs that flies banners over the ground and has protest marches outside because that's never helpful and that's never going to help you win anything. But the manager simply got some things wrong today. I mean, the way he set up the team and the whole substitutions thing as well continues to be a frustration. And that's one of the problems in these games because, I mean, we solved it last time out in one of these kind of matches against Crystal Palace Anfield. We brought on Mo Salah 60 minutes in with half an hour to go. So he had half an hour to settle into the game and start to make a difference. And Liverpool ended up winning that game, whether that was down to the influence of Mohamed Salah or not. You can certainly argue that it helped. Liverpool didn't make a substitution until about the 75th minute in, that, in this game. And arguably it's because we didn't have the same amount of quality on the bench. But still, if things aren't working, you have to shake things up. You have to change things up. And I mean, the Dom Solanke chance at the end when he hits the bar. To be honest, if Solanke had maybe been on the pitch for about 10 minutes more or 15 minutes more, if he'd come on as a sub earlier on in the match... He might have been a little bit sharper and he might have put that chance away. So it, these are the same problems over and over again. And that's why it feels like Groundhog Day because it's happened before. And the sad thing is it will probably happen again. And the defending, first of all, for the goal that Burnley scored was just appalling. And it comes down to one man. It comes down to Ranyar Klavan for me because he's simply not doing what he's supposed to do. In the, the, it's a harmless ball into the box, really. Joel Matip has got it covered. He's about six foot six, and it's a headed duel. Of course, he's going to win it. And then Ranyar Klavan decides, no, I'm going to help Joel out. I'm going to give him a hand here. So he comes barging in. He leaves his post. He leaves that space wide open and tries to help out Joel Matip. Probably actually makes things worse. Probably actually puts Joel Matip off, allows a Burnley player to win the header. And lo and behold, there's a huge amount of space in the box for Scott Arfield to just run in happily, control the ball have an easy shot on goal, and he scores. And it's just so obvious where the problems lie, and that's what makes it so annoying that any old fool can spot what's wrong with this Liverpool back line, but still players like Raniel Klavan are making these mistakes. And I mean, you can argue that maybe Robertson should come a bit centrally, should come a bit tighter to make to fill in the space that Raniel Klavan has vacated, but there's no, you can't blame other players who haven't made a mistake and say that they should be cleaning up for the stupid mistakes that other players are making. It's simply the sources Raniel Klavan, he should not make that mistake in the first place, 
and the goal is his fault. And I mean, we criticise the manager Jurgen Klopp quite a bit with the way that Liverpool defend and criticise the way that he likes to set his team up defensively. We know that Jurgen Klopp is a fan of the zonal system, so we know that those spaces should not exist on the pitch. Ranjar Klavan is meant to stay in that zone, keep that space filled and stop it from being exploited by Burnley players. So when he tries to do this weird thing where he just runs away from that space and leaves it completely open, that is where the problems lie. And I mean, as much as we want to criticise the manager, if the players aren't even capable of properly implementing Jurgen Klopp's tactical plans defensively, then what hope do we have of actually defending under Jurgen Klopp? And then later on, the same problems persisted. I mean, Ranjar Klavan again was at the centre of it all. He even got with a fight with Emre Jan at one point because he did exactly what he did for the goal earlier, where Emre Jan was fine. He, he had the ball. He was easily going to head it away. And then Ranjar Klavan just came charging in to try and help him. And Emre Jan obviously gets into a war of words, has a shout at Ranjar Klavan. Not really ideal when you've just conceded a corner and you need to get your shape back and control everything. So, I mean, these the problem went on and on and on throughout the match. And really, Burnley had a fairly de decent couple of chances to win the game. It was only because Joel Matip made a pretty impressive clearance off the line that Burnley did not come away with a 2-1 win in that game. So, there are still a huge amount of issues with the way that Liverpool defend. And that's the frustrating thing, like I said before, is because it's so obvious it's so clear what is the problem and yet still we cannot solve it and for me the only way to solve it is to bring in more center backs and maybe not even just one maybe not even just Virgil van Dijk whenever he next becomes available Liverpool I think need a fairly complete overhaul of the players they have in that position because Matip at the moment seems to be the only player who looks even half decent playing at center back you know I don't want to see Ranjar Klavan playing for Liverpool in the near future I don't really want to see Dejan Lovren playing for Liverpool in the near future we need an overhaul there we need a lot of new players but for now sadly that's simply not going to happen and Jurgen Klopp just has to find some way of drilling his ideas into these players so they don't keep making these mistakes and then at the other end of the pitch Liverpool simply did not take their chances today I mentioned before about the whole you know the amount of shots we had and how we didn't convert enough of them how we weren't creating good enough chances and I mean you can make some excuses for it you can say that maybe the players are a little bit fatigued and obviously Burnley to be to their credit they did play very well in that game and they did bring their A game in a lot of ways. Some of their defenders were incredibly on form. Like I said, there were a lot of blocks from their defenders there and that came from the quality that Burnley had in the back at the back and the performance that they put in during that game. But the fact of the matter is, even though Burnley brought their A game, if Liverpool bring their A game as well, they beat Burnley because simply Liverpool are a better football team than Burnley and should not be drawing with them. And I mean, when you've got that much talent on the pitch, when you've got Salah and Firmino and Coutinho and Sturridge all starting a match, those players between them should be scoring more than one goal during a game against Burnley, no matter how good Burnley play in that game. And I mean, Coutinho in particular was just so frustrating in that match. I mean, I've talked before about how, you know, Coutinho, he's he's nearly world class. He might even be able to be considered world class now. But if he plays like he did in that match, which is something that we've seen from Coutinho in the past where he gets the ball, he holds on to the ball for too long. He doesn't pass to the right players. He doesn't pass to players in space. And far too often he is shooting from range when he simply doesn't seem to have the technique to do that on a regular basis. He's always shooting it too high, too wide, not getting his chances under control. And, you know, if he carries on playing like that, then he's got no hope of being a world-class footballer because that's what we've seen from Coutinho in the past. And it's something that he needs to desperately improve on. And you can, I suppose, make the argument that he is still coming back from an injury or at least a certain amount of time out of playing competitive football. So hopefully Phil Coutinho will improve. But like I said, there is a lot to improve there if he wants to get to where he needs to be. So with regards to where we go from here, I mean, now me and I think a lot of other Liverpool fans must be starting to worry now because with the result against Man City, obviously Man City are a very good football team. Even though that result is kind of inexcusable, you can understand it, you can reconcile it. The severe result was obviously very frustrating, but it was a Champions League match against a very good side and event we did actually get a draw from it so you can kind of reconcile those results and, and come to terms with them but Liverpool simply should be beating Burnley like I said before they should not be drawing these games and if it carries on like this then you do start to get worried that Liverpool's season is just going to go completely off the rails because I mean you look at the games we have coming up Leicester in the League Cup Leicester away in the league Newcastle away in the league as well Liverpool have basically until the, until the international break to get themselves back on track before 
before the season starts becoming a write-off already. Because, I mean, we're already five points off the top of the table. And while it is early in the season and you don't want to read too much into the league table and into how many points teams have or anything like that, if you're five points off the top, five games in, you've got to start worrying about where your season's going. Because if Liverpool want to be at least challenging for top honours by the end of this season, they need to be in a better position than that. It is as simple as that. So there is a lot to worry about and I think a lot for Jurgen Klopp to think about if he wants to help this team get back on track. So hopefully with that Leicester game away in the League Cup, we can at least get some way to getting back on track. But for now, it is incredibly worrying and there are a lot of questions about where Liverpool are going at the moment. So that is all for today's video. Thank you very, very much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, why not give it a like? If you're new around as well, hit that subscribe button. Check out some of the other, vid other videos that have been out on the channel over the past few days as well. I'll be back very soon with all the build-up content for the game against Leicester in the League Cup. Until then, don't forget to follow at LFC Focus TV on Twitter as well. And I'll see you in a bit. Bye for now.